I'm going to turn down the gain. I think my gain's too high. Why is the TV not on? It's essentially better, yeah. Lower down, I think. And if I try and sit honestly as close to it as possible, I think that helps. Who knows? I don't know if this is going to be okay, but f it. Hello my lovely lot, welcome or welcome back to the channel, it is wonderful to have you here today. Your girl is back with some more Breaking Bad and I am happy to get into it because Jesse, oh he pulled one heck of a smart move with Saul there last time, like I'm not being funny love, I'm not being funny love, that was peak, that was so so fucking good. So what his dad basically said last time was they'd spent £400,000 on renovations and then Jesse's come in basically and got them in at like that price, which is wild. So he's ended up paying nothing essentially for the house, which quite right, quite right. Karma will come back and hit us all if we don't pay attention. So fair play to Jesse, fair play to Jesse. But yeah, I'm so happy for him that that happened. It was such a smart move to pull. So I'm really excited to get into today's episode. I won't waffle too much. Thank you so much for being here today. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, do go ahead and click click that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. So many people that watch the channel on a weekly basis are not subscribed. Every YouTuber says it because it's true. It's true. No, but in all seriousness, if you do like what you see, go ahead and give this video a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts about today's episode. And if you're feeling super duper generous, then do consider heading over to my Patreon or joining YouTube memberships. You can join YouTube memberships over here these days so you can get early access, full length reactions and all of that good stuff that you expect when you pay for those extra perks. And without too much further ado, my guys, let's get into it. This is Breaking Bad season three, episode three. Let's Let's go, brothers. Un día caliente como hoy, demasiado aceite en la máquina, puede romper un sello. Hay dos clases de hombre en, en este mundo. Oh, is this a flashback? Isn't that the turtle guy that got his head decapitated and put on top of a turtle? Llena mi copa. Oh, as I know him, I think um, the uncle from Spy Kids. I'm pretty sure that's the same actor, but I could be wrong. Trabajaba en la tierra. Hasta que me sangraban los manos. Ya no. Porque yo entendí que un hombre no. What's his game? Pongan atención. Pueden aprender algo. Yeah, it's him. ¿Qué onda? So, what we do in Sarai? Tito, qué gusto me da verte. No me imaginaba que eras tan. <laughs> no tienes que entregar algo. Vas a llegar tarde, ¿no? No, hay, hay mucho tiempo. Tertuga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pero siempre sí. termina primero. <laughs> sí, yo sé. It is him then, yeah. Tortuga, that was his name. Something ah, is not quite tuyo. right. Sabe, se me olvidó tu cumpleaños el mes pasado. Mm, I don't trust this. What's going on in? Lo tengo allá atrás. Allá atrás? Sí, sígueme. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I don't actually want to go out the back with you, but thank you, though. Well, we know he doesn't die here, because... Stop, was it? Oh, oh my God, is this showing us the lineup to it? Me encanta, Eve. Que padre, Makota. Oh my God. Lente. Te la voy a dedicar. It is, isn't it? This is the lead up to when his head gets put on it. Para el gran... For the big talker. Oh my gosh, yep it is. You are about to get it. Oh, when it was them two that did it. Oh my actual god. Oh, 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 it's showing us. Okay, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Well, well, we figured out how that happened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me put some things together. Why would they now be after? De Walt. They killed him. He was speaking to the FBI with Hank's team. But Walt wasn't, in well, Walt was involved a lot. No, oh, I can't remember. Oh my God, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. But Gus also had control over them last time. Well, Gus has no got some connections, you know. I'm assuming Saul Goodman doesn't need to know. <laughs> Mom's the word. 
So he's just keeping a lookout for him, basically. Well, Walt's not even noticing at all. Oh, she's figuring out Walt's at home. Oopsie doops. She's like really worried though, like every single time she sees him, she goes into like super panic. Which I can guess why she would, but that's also your husband of how many years. Oh, hello. Skylar. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Why are you here? What the hell are you doing in there? I'm back. No, no, you're not back. <laughs> get, get, get out of there. It's my house too, Skylar. No. I'm staying. Well, end of story. Oh my gosh. I, I didn't agree to anything. I mean. And we'll talk this through, okay? No, Maybe. No. Yeah. Go on. Yes, have this conversation for me, please. Please, please, please. Please, Ouch. please, please. <laughs> he doesn't give two flying poops about you and your opinion, Skylar. <laughs> XOXO, love you. Skylar, I have every right to be here. No. Please, please, please. You don't live here anymore. We're getting a divorce. I don't agree to a divorce. Well, it's not up to you! Well, I think it's up to both parties, isn't it? I could be wrong. Get out of here right now. I'm gonna call the police. And do what, though, in the nicest way, babe? I mean it, Walt. He is so not gonna like that she said that. Albuquerque Police Department, operator number 314, how may I help you? He's like, go on then, Skylar. Yes, I um, I want to report a disturbance, please. No, no, it's not. It, it's not exactly. It's um. They're gonna say like they can't really do out because he's not doing anything to her. She's gonna keep trying to pull him off. Me. He doesn't care. He's gonna he's gonna call you bluff, babe. What would you have to do, Skylar? This family is everything to me. Without it, I have nothing to lose. Mm. Yes, my name is Skylar White. I need police assistance at my home right away. Are they actually gonna come? Okay. I don't know how this works in like domestic situations where somebody wants a divorce and you both like live in the house. They're coming. Okay. And then? Oh my god, he's literally just gonna sit tight until they turn up. Stop. What are you gonna do, Skylar? That's never the police already. Never. That's way quick. That would never happen in the UK. Dad. Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Dad. <laughs> yeah, it's Walt Jr. Oh my oh. god, what are you gonna do now, Skylar? Wow. Why are you home so soon? I I'm not. Walter, you're your dad. Oh my god. We need to discuss. Just ready. I'll, I'll bring it to your to your room. I can't wait. I haven't seen Dad in like forever. Oh golly gosh, how is she gonna? Not really. What is manage that mean? this. Oh, that does look like a good cheese toaster, that though, mate. <laughs> oh, yes, banging. Mm. I love a cheese toaster. Way to my heart. Potatoes, cheese toaster. I'm a simple woman. <laughs> a simple little hobbit, you might say. Hello, ma'am. We were called about a disturbance. You, you called the cops? Oh, my God. On Dad? Oh, no. You've ballsed it with him now, Skylar. I asked him to leave, but. He won't listen. I don't know if there's anything they can do about it. I'm not sure. I want him out. I, I, I want him out of the house. Okay. They're gonna ask why and stuff, but like if he's violent and stuff like that, but he's not, is he? Did he strike you? No. Has he ever hit you? No, this is not about violence. This is about trespassing. It is not trespassing though, is he? If it's his house as well. Okay, trespassing. You're divorced then. No, no. working on it. Um, Oh, I don't know what the rules are. I, I, I changed the locks. Isn't that breaking and entering? Whose name is on the title to the house? Yeah, family home. We can't arrest a man for breaking into his own house. Not without a court order requiring he stays away from the premises. Yeah. But having him in the house is just, it's, it's not a good thing. I get that, I get that. It is like mental warfare, isn't it? He's not physically abusing her, but. Here we go. 
Oh, he's doing his best to play the simple, oh. nice dad card. Is it? I'm sorry, officer. Oh, she knows it. <laughs> if you want your husband out of the house, you're going to have to help me out. Is it possible maybe he's broken any laws that you know of? Anything at all? Oh, my life. Suspicion of wrongdoing. I can work with that. I'll get him out of the house for you. Oh, oh bless. He's trying to help because he can see there's a situation and she's actually upset, but... She, she won't even say what my dad did. He, he didn't do anything. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. My dad, he is a great guy. Mm. You should call this number. Oh, this my. Is family hotline. Mm -mm. I'd really look into some counseling. She's really not going to be happy about this at all. Listen, thank you, officers. We're sorry. Oh, well, shut up, man. Just shut up making it worse for her. Oh, he is naughty. Why you gotta, why you gotta do this to dad? She's gonna snap at some point. Welcome home. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we know that she's not gonna blab though. So that's good. But this is mental, kind of mental warfare on her. That's not fair, the way he's doing it. Jesse, my boy, I can't believe you don't look happier than this. You're in your new gaff. Fully renovated. Don't mind if you do. He lives! <laughs> Happy housewarming, kid. <laughs> oh, go on, Saul. How are you doing? Staying clean? Good. Is it? I was kind of worried okay. that you were back to old habits since I didn't hear from you. Realize how stupid it is to ignore your counsel's phone calls. I mean, what if I was trying to warn you that the DEA was going to kick down your door? I mean, that is true. Will you spare me the sermon and get to why you're here? <laughs> the other day when I brought up the idea of you getting back in touch with your uh, partner. Gus is really probably getting on at him to get it sorted in it. Oh, I only want you to convince the master chef to do his thing. The master chef. Sure, man, whatever. <laughs> okay, whatever what? I mean, you gonna call him? I said I'll handle it. Oh, I love that door to that house. Call him. He is good as Saul. He's very, very good. <laughs> Jesse knows like he's not wrong. <laughs> oh, he's actually doing it. Go on then. Hey, if you're trying to tell me something, I've got four little words for you. Do not. Oh. Oh, my heart. Oh, so sad. Oh, this show. That just like tore my heart out in 3.5 seconds flat. Wow. <laughs> That's great news, sir. Thank you. I feel so bad for Jesse. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You bet on that. <laughs> Some good news for Hanky Boy. What is it? You're gonna keep me in suspense or what? What's the good news? Mercury called in a couple of favors. El Paso wants me back. Oh, gosh, you don't want to go out there, Hank. Let me tell you that much. Why would you want to go back there? <laughs> oh, he doesn't. He's just putting it on. Oh, bless him. Oh, I don't want Hank to go back there. He barely made it out the first time. Anything happens to my Hanky boy, there'll be trouble to be had. Snazzy. Oh. Oh, no. Who is this woman? Um, why do the, the Cray Twins, the Mexican Cray Twins want her? Oh, weird. I wonder why they want her. It won't be for how good, I'll tell you that much. What in the world? Right. <gasps> Did they just want the car for him? Ding, ding, ding. No, I didn't even think about that. Oh my God, that is so funny. Is that literally what that was? I hope no harm came to that woman. I thought they were gonna like, no offense, like murder her or something because of you know what they've done before. If they just robbed the car, yeah, I can that that'll sit okay with me. She can claim on her insurance. Haven't these people got enough money? Can't just go out and buy a car. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you for a a baller. That that dinner is not looking so smashing. <laughs> Por favor, pasen. Uh, he knows everyone does, Gus. Everyone. This man is on it. So yeah, he does have connections with them too. So I wonder where Gus sits in like 
the pecking order line. You know what I mean? It's your territory. Yeah, it's your territory. Razón por creer que ese hombre era pendiente tuyo. Oh, he's right at the top, is Gus. Entonces estás trabajando con este Heisenberg. Negocios con ciertos proveedores. Y este dio. Todavía ganamos. They got bad blood with him. Afectado nuestras relaciones. They're going to say you can't use him anymore. Un sobrino que se llamaba Tuco. Sí. Mm -hmm. Sabía de él. Mm -hmm. They want revenge for Tuco. Era el mero mero al norte de la frontera. Fue leal. But it was Hank that killed him. Heisenberg, Walter White, era uno de los proveedores locales de Tuco. Uh... Los primos de Tuco. Oh, there is cousins. La familia. Oh no. Oh no. This is not going to be a good time for Walt at all. Oh, giving it the, the old dingling. Dan Salamanca. Oh. Siento su pérdida profunda. Por favor, acepte mis condolencias. There's nothing he can do. No problema. Con su desas. Cuando nuestros negocios se terminen. You can have him when they've done business. Tara. Okay, again, con él. But until then, hold your horses, basically. Says. They're not going to be happy with that. Lo necesito. Con su permiso, señores. The fact that I actually just understood, understood some of that without the subtitles. Peak. Thank you, Duolingo. Les aconsejaré que tengan paciencia, pero te recomiendo que termines tu negocio con este hombre rápida. Hmm. Y esos chamacos que están ahí adentro, no puedo garantizar que pongan atención. I certainly don't think they will. But Gus will say, if they do, it'll be on your head anyway, so think about that. Gus is amazing. I love his character. I love the way he looks at people. Like, you can tell there's just so much thinking going on behind them eyes. I love him. I love his character. So far. Can't tell you to stop. I did that with my... Past loved ones until it goes out of service. Hey, if you're trying to tell me something, I've got four little words for you. Do not call list. Uh, that's awful for him. He's suffering so much from her loss. This man has done so much damage. You're just supposed to be a quiet little science teacher, man. <laughs> The shit you've done. <laughs> what do you mean? Against your will? Yes. Well, you wanted to be back in the Not house. Against my will. You were in the house, technically. I called the police on him. They didn't do anything. So close. Oh, she so doesn't know. So close to what? Yeah. I can't advise you properly if you don't give me all the facts. Oh, no. I'm your lawyer, not the police. My job is to protect you. Oh, she's going to tell her. Ooh. Oh, I can't believe she told someone. Dealer, a manufacturer, technically. They, oh. They, they call them cooks. I looked it up on the internet. Oh, bless her. I looked it up on the internet. Me every day. Sue your husband for divorce immediately. Let me go to the police and tell them what you just told me. She doesn't want to do that. She just wants to tell someone. It, it's the best, it is kind of the best thing for her. Don't know if it's the best thing for the family, and yeah, she's not gonna. Can't do it. She just wants to tell someone. I don't want my son to find out. Oh, bless her. In the end, it may not be up to you. Drug dealers have a way of getting caught. See why I should lay all this on my family when it's, it might not be around. Resolve themselves on their own. Mm. Oh, so that's going to be her logic. It really is. The divorce lawyer is just going to tell her. She'll have to go through it the normal way. Like, and if he doesn't want a divorce, they're going to have to go like tit for tat and things. Skylar's not going to hold out that long. Yeah, well, it's, it's not like there's nothing going on up here. What are you talking about? Hey, Jack going on up here. Oh, don't start out. Don't start out. He's not doing well with this. He does not want to go back there at all. Over there. Take her home. Man, in this place, the bartender's probably holding. Truth. Oh, no, really? Call an APD. 
Hey, what do you think? Since when can't we handle a couple of dirt balls? No, don't do it, Hank. Ice is running some kind of undercover off. Don't. Screw it. No. Turn to pay. Gonna leave. Yeah, okay. Oh, I was thinking they were gonna start off somewhat then. Where are you? Oh, he's just waiting in the car. What are you getting that out for? Where are you going? What are you doing? No. No, it's not gonna. He's gonna go in there and deal with them. Oh no, Hank, don't. Oh gosh, no, Hank, 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 Hank. Oh, oh, oh. Bloody hell, Hank. Oh my God. Oh my God, Hank. Oh my life. Stop. Ow. Eesh. In my ear. His head is gonna break on the ground, Hank. Son of a gun. Oh my gosh. Why? Oh, um, there's this emotional outburst from the men in this program. They're not getting us anywhere. They're not getting us anywhere. Oh, what is he playing at? Oh, I know he's clearly panicked about having to go back to Mexico. Oh, really? He's literally waking up and the first thing he's doing is calling it as well. Wow, oh my gosh, Jesse, I don't know what to tell you, baby. You, you need some help. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Oh. Has it stopped working? The number you have reached, one, four, nine, four. Has it not been recognized? It's been cut off. Oh, five is no longer in. Oh, babe, is no longer in service. It, God, it's so relatable. Oh. Jesse, babe. Oh, maybe now, now he tries to get past it. Oh, is he by himself out there? So he's not even bothering to call Walt? Oh, Jesse, babe. I know that he was learning how to do it. But does he know fully how to do it now? Hmm. I wonder. Where's she off to? She's waiting for him for some reason. She's going back to Marie's or something. Skylar. Oh my God, he's put that there on purpose. Can we talk? Attention! Oh my actual life! <gasps> oh, smart move, Walt. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> what you like, Hank? What you like? Is his mate gonna clock on that? Like, there's a reason why he's doing this. Saw a deal go down. I went outside to call it in. You stayed to keep an eye on the suspects. That's when Bless. they attacked you. His mate's backing him up. What I didn't tell him is that you left your gun under the seat before you went back inside. What's the significance of that? Is that because he wanted to have a physical fight with them? So he wanted the excuse of not having his firearm on him to, like, you know, tell him to start with it. But I did it for a good reason. He's finally getting this. Yes. I did it for us. I'm finally getting it. Woo! That. The conversation. Is college tuition for Walter Jr. and Holly. That is health insurance for you and the kids or Junior's physical therapy. Oh, he's really, you know, letting them know why he's done it. I'm glad though. The mortgage that you are not going to be able to afford on a part-time bookkeeper's salary when I'm gone. I... Please, please. He did do it for kind of the right reasons. He's not going onto this line of work just for himself. I earned it. Oh, bless him. Th things I've had to do. She doesn't even want to ask. Got to live with them. She doesn't look like she's being compassionate at all, I'm not gonna lie. All that I've done, all the sacrifices that I have 
made for this family be for nothing if you don't accept what I've earned. Oh, I do feel for him. I'll be here when you get home from work. Oh. You can give me your answer then. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Bloody hell. Like, she's going to be able to think about work. You might have left it till she got home from work. I'm not going to lie. What a horrible state of mind to be going into work with. Nah, sorry, you won't catch me doing any work. <laughs> I'm too busy panicking my little ass off. <laughs> She's gonna quiz him more about what he's been doing. I think she finds it relatable to Walt. Do I get the feeling she's gonna try and make out with him? Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> Is she actually, before she goes back to Walt, yeah. I knew it. <gasps> Skylar! <gasps> oh! <clears throat> she is... Not... Okay. Is that just like payback or something? Oh, he's well happy with that. Oh! Oh! Oh, she's giving him the sexy eyes. <gasps> Stop. No way. I didn't think she'd actually go through with stuff like that with him. She's going to go back now, though, and accept him. I just know it. She's done that, and she has, like, one, one wild thing for her to do before she goes back into this life with Walt. Skylar, you dirty dog. What he's done has been, you know, pretty bad. I won't lie. But he's not cheated on you, though. He does actually love you. Look at him giving it his best little shot with his salad and his pot roast. How's your day? <laughs> it was great <laughs> for her. <laughs> I feel good about our talk this morning, and I'm not. Oh, shut up! He doesn't make it any better for himself. But you know, whenever you're ready, then of course. But you know, whenever you're ready, but you know today. <laughs> he is cheeky. Oh, is she gonna tell him? Why, why do I think she's gonna tell him? I thought dead. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, she wanted it to actually rub it in his Boy, face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it though, he does. He kind of deserves it in a way. I don't agree with cheating, but he deserves a slap in the face though. Stop, Skylar. I did not know you were that bitch. I'm not gonna lie to you. Always oh, gonna be deceiving me. Walt, reap what you sow, mate. I mean, it's bad though, it's still bad. I'm not condoning it. But he needed a slap in the face. How do you like it when you've got to hear shit like this and just go on with it? all day long so nothing's happened. I, I, I don't agree with it, but I agree with it. Anybody else when you were watching this? Like, I don't agree with it, but I agree with it. He deserved a slap in the face. I just, he deserved a slap in the face, all right? <laughs> yeah, that was a really good episode, loved that. As you all know, I love this TV show. I'm absolutely loving it. I don't think there's anything that they can do to me. Fingers crossed, like storyline wise, it's really gonna make me like hate this show. Cause even when like the terrible stuff happens, it's just such, such a good TV show. Everything is so well thought out. Everything is so well put together. Everything is so well directed. Love the actors that they've cast for this TV show. Loving how it's going so far. I was not expecting that in today's episode with Skylar. Absolutely not. Oh, I don't know what it was at that end bit. Like she'd not said a thing. And I went into it purely thinking like, she's not gonna tell what, like she just wants to do this to like let off her own steam and basically do something like wrong to counteract what Walt has done wrong. It was just the way she was stood in the kitchen, the sort of look she had on her face where I was just like, nah, she is not holding this in. She is literally about to tell him. And even when I predict shit like that, when it actually happens, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what the hell? But yeah, I'm really excited to see how the rest of season three pans out now. Like how does this all gonna go now that Skylar knows she knows the full story? Like obviously she doesn't know like nitty gritty details, but she knows that he's had to do some shit. He's got a fuck ton of money. He's gonna give it to her. 
he now knows that she fucked Ted. I can't believe she actually did that. I'm still like, what the actual hell? Skylar, girl, girl. I just was not expecting that at all. I don't know how much more I can say about that other than I literally was not expecting it. She can be a sly one, can Skylar. Like, she definitely has got a vindictive streak within her. And I think she's done this so that she's able to accept what he's done, almost. <laughs> Have I got a spider on my head? Why does it feel like I've got a spider on my head? So weird. I keep getting a really weird sensation on the top of my head. And the way that I am terrified that there is a spider on top of it is just something else. So yes, I'm honestly looking so, so forward to how the rest of season three is gonna play out. I don't know where they're gonna take it from here. Obviously, poor little Jesse has gone into the wilderness now to try and make meth by himself. And I do remember he was learning from Walt how to do it. So I do think there's a chance that Jesse can do it. But obviously, I don't think it's going to go on for too long without Walt getting involved again. Now that Skylar is aware what was going on, I do think, I don't know, is he going to ask Skylar, like, by the way, do you mind if I carry on doing this till I die, basically? Or if he's going to go behind her back again and just start making it with Jesse again? Who knows? Jesse's pulling up my heartstrings at the minute, especially with him listening back to that voicemail from Jane. And I have done that to the point where you can no longer get through on the service anymore. So I can totally relate to how he's feeling. I'm hoping, 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 maybe the fact that that number has now gone out of service means he can actually move on with his life. Like man deserves to just move on with his life. I'm a little bit surprised he actually hasn't got back in touch with Walt just to even see if he wants to go back down that route with him. But I don't know, maybe he's just taken sort of Walt's word for it that he doesn't want to do it anymore. I tell you what though, my guys, I have got a sly and sneaking suspicion that the rest of season three is going to be turmoil, absolute turmoil. Because for the start of it, we've not seen that much violence, we've not seen that much gore, we've not seen that much nasty play going on. I've just got a sneaky feeling. Now that we've covered, you know, this, this start of the season, letting everybody know where we're all at, letting Skylar know what's going on, getting Walt back in the house with his family, Hank's going back down to Mexico, Jesse is out of rehab, he's got his own home again. I just feel like now things have settled a little bit. They're about to kick off absolutely massively. Tuco's cousins, oh my God. Oh my God, they're Tuco's cousins. That's who those guys are. So if they're Tuco's cousins, or did he say nephews? I can't remember, but that does mean they are related to Hector. So they're Hector's family. And I'm telling you right now, there's no way that this family is just gonna let it go about Tuco. I think Gus is gonna be really trying to get back on at Walt now in terms of getting him back into the game because he knows now he's on a time constraint as well. I honestly don't think Gus will end up even caring if Walt gets killed. I think Gus is just thinking of money. He's just thinking of business. Like he wants this guy to basically be around for as long as he can because he makes money off him. But I think in the meantime, he's gonna want Walt to get straight back on that train because he does not want to be hanging about now. At the end of the day, he knows Walt has got that to his head now so I think it's going to go either one or two ways. Gus is either going to really get on at Walt, get him to make as much money as soon as possible, as quickly as possible before he gets killed by these two guys or or and I did see a look on Gus's face, a look I find familiar when he's got a little plan going on in his head. I've got a feeling that Gus isn't going to let this slide with them and if they step out of line I think he actually might step in to protect Walt and maybe get somebody else to do a job on to Co's family. I'm just saying, those are my little cheeky predictions. Well then, my gorgeous lot, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I appreciate you more than you bloody well know. If you like this video and you want to see some more, do go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Do ring that bell notification thingamadig. That'll tell you when I, you know, release videos because sometimes my scheduling, not so great. Not so great. I'll hold my hands up. I will hold them up. My scheduling, not the best sometimes. So if you ring that bell notification, you're gonna you're gonna find out. You'll know that the YouTube they'll tell you. <laughs> Give the video a like if you liked it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about today's episode and the reaction. And once more before I go, do consider heading over to Patreon or my YouTube memberships. It really helps me out here. You can check out all the different tiers I have there for full length reactions, early access, behind the scenes polls, movie and TV suggestions for the channel, and a whole host of other nonsense. And in the meantime, you know how it goes, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon, four o'clock in the morning. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I appreciate you so much. Look after yourself, be kind, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Mwah, mwah, mwah! I
Aye, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Oh, I kind of want to watch Shrek right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Shrek is just in my head. Skylar is a dirty dog. Do da, do da. Skylar is a dirty dog. All the do da day. Mm. Oh, do do da da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do do da day. Mm, mm, mm. Skylar is a dirty dog. Oh, do do da day. Wow. Girl, girl, she really went there with Ted. But here's the thing, is Ted gonna think this is like a regular situation now? Do you know what I mean? Like, is Ted aware that it's just a one-time go around? Or oh. Ted is gonna want some more of that Skylar pie. Those snacksy eyes she was giving him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not being funny. But he was not even pitching a semi after that kissing in interaction. He was Picture a whole bone tent, do you know what I'm saying? I'm sure I'm so cringe when I'm trying to be a sexy girl too, but it really cringes me out when she was trying to be sexy, like when she did it with the Marilyn Monroe thing, that's still stuck in my head. Oh my God, that was so bad. That Marilyn Monroe scene, oh, it, oh, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. Oh, but you really did need a slap in the face and that was a huge slap in his little titties. That was humongous. Love ya. Oh my god, honestly, it was the way that she said I slept with Ted as well. Like, she said it with such intention and picking up that bloody food bowl. I actually love her. I actually might like her. I can't believe this is why I actually might like Skylar. It feels wrong.